So in this video, let's talk about how I got 96% in maths in metric, right? So most of the times people complain about mathematics. They say it's the most difficult, challenging subject in high school, right? And people usually fail maths for some reason, right? But for me, I've always seen maths as an interesting challenge. And in this video, I'm going to give you a few tips on how you can tackle mathematics and also provide a few resources that you can use so that you can nail mathematics and get that distinction. So firstly, I want you to shift your mindset, right? I want you to move from maths is hard to math is an interesting subject so once you shift your mindset from this is hard to this is an interesting subject whenever you do it you'll feel that satisfaction you'll also be excited to do mathematics because you see it as an interesting subject so you start seeing it as an interesting challenge rather than something that's so hard that you can never do right so first tip is you shift your mindset from this is hard to this is an interesting challenge one thing I've realized about mathematics from my journey with maths is maths is a repetitive subject, right? So I realized that the more question papers I do going into a test or exam, the higher the mark I get. So I've realized that maths is all about practicing. The more you practice, the higher the mark you get, right? So I'm going to be giving you a few tips on how you can approach practicing mathematics so that you can nail or maximize your results. So first thing right i want you to find the test book that you understand i know there are thousands of maths test books out there but i want you to find that test book that you understand right so for me in grade 12 it was mind action series i remember in our school they gave us this other test book a yellow one i forgot the name of the test book but i never understood that test book right until i came across my induction series which i found in my teacher's office and i was like let me borrow this book and by using that book i realized that i'm starting to enjoy maths to understand maths so here's why i like that book right so my induction series had this thing that it will explain to you maybe a, a certain topic you're doing sequences and series so it will explain what the aim of that module is and how to approach it right and then after that, it starts giving you examples and examples range from the easiest to the hardest and then after it gives you questions as well with the questions practice questions they range from the easiest to the hardest so the more you tackle the easiest one you build your confidence you go to the semi difficult ones you build your confidence until you tackle those difficult questions those high order questions that most people don't usually get in the exam only few people get those questions right you get to practice those kind of questions in mind action series because they clearly state that this is a high order question right and you get to practice so they basically teach you something give you examples ranging from easy to hardest and then give you questions ranging from easy to hardest so you get to build your confidence as you learn a new module after finding a test book that works for you i want you to start doing past question papers right so i'm going to give you this app that i was using they call it hey maths i'm just gonna see if i can put the picture of the app here and even the test book i'm gonna put the picture of the test book on the screen as well so hey maths it's interesting because you can practice question papers either by topic or by paper so by topic is you can say i want to practice uh algebra alone right and then you get different algebra questions that were asked before in the past from different papers and you get to practice and what's nice about this app is after you do a certain question you can play the memo meaning that it will explain the memo to you step by step step by step step by step so technically you don't need a tutor because now this app is going to explain to you the solution step by step i know sometimes when you're practicing on your own you can do a question paper you look at the memo you don't understand why they did a certain thing but now with that app you're able to follow along because the memo is explained step by step right or you can choose to practice by paper meaning that you choose to practice paper one so that you get question papers from paper one only and you practice the entire question paper i'll advise that you do it topic by topic so for example you do algebra you do a lot of questions until you've mastered that section you go to sequences and series you practice that uh, section until you've mastered it right and once you master it you move to the next section and it's so key to start doing question papers as early as possible in metric as early as possible now that you're approaching exam season it's very key for you to start doing 
the past question papers. Don't go and try to read the textbook first. Do the past question papers. And if there's a certain section while you're doing the past question papers that you don't understand, then you can go to the textbook, read that section, do the examples from easiest to challenging, and then you'll go back to the question paper and start doing the exam questions. And the last tip is continue doing a lot of question paper so you can download extra question papers which are not on the hey maths app just download them practice them the more you practice the higher your mark so make sure that you subscribe like this video drop a comment if you have any question if you have any video ideas or there's something you want me to talk about in the next video make sure that you drop that comment and don't forget to subscribe cheers